Hi, my name is Jaquisha Lawson and my uh, topic that I chose for Down syndrome um, for my lesson to teach to Down syndrome students is uh, crossing a street with traffic lights. I did have to do a lot of research um, with uh, planning a lesson for students with Down syndromes. Um, as most of us have not taught Down syndrome students or uh, students with disabilities yet, but I have been in like best buddies and um, I do have a brother who has autism and cerebral palsy and so I'm, I'm a little bit able to understand and connect with um, people that have disabilities whether they are young or old because I have a, a lot of people in my family that have uh, disabilities like uh, like I said autism cerebral palsy um, and many many other other uh, disabilities uh, that are life challenging to them um so let's get right to it what I decided uh, I picked this topic because I feel like all students should um, learn about this in school um i'm not sure if they still teach this uh, about being safe and especially when crossing uh across the street during traffic so for the beginning of the lesson i decided to start by doing a read aloud and i picked three awesome books uh, which were Let's Be Safe, Pedestrian Safety, and Signs in Our World. And all three of these books you could find on Amazon. Um, I didn't put a link, a link in the, um, the Word document, but you can most definitely find these on Amazon. And they're very cheap for like $3 to $4. Like, they're, they're really cheap. So I would do a read aloud to my students and then have a discussion with them based on the book. And so the read aloud would be, I, I would read a book to them each day throughout the week, um, just to refresh their memories about what do they remember? Uh, is there anything new they would like to tell me that they learned from like uh, their parents or from other people outside of, like other people in school and outside of school. Um, so a few questions that I would uh, review with them throughout the, the um, week would be, what should you always do before crossing the street? Of course, the answer would be stop and search, left, right, left. Um, uh, is the edge of the sidewalk always the best place to stop and search for cars before crossing the street? And you would say, yes, but uh, it's, it's not. Yes, when there's no cars coming, just so you could see, like, because I know it, some students are probably from New York or big cities where they have parallel parking. And sometimes you can't always see around those cars. So you would look over and stuff. So I, I had, um, you ask, you answer, you ask six questions <laughs> and then they would answer them. Uh, they could talk with their partners about them, about the answers that they came up with. And also with reading the books, they're able to talk and communicate with their buddies next to them um, throughout the story when you're reading. And of course, don't let it get too big to where everybody loses the attention and they're not focused on you. Um, you also have vocabulary. You could do key messages, which is understanding things that make up traffic and share the same road or just how to cross uh, during traffic. Um, this can be taught for all grades, of course, elementary. I say kindergarten through second grade or 
you could also start preschool as well because my son is three and he knows to look both ways before crossing anywhere like even if we're going from the apartment to my to the um car you should just look both ways um make sure that you know always uh do something easy not hard uh, so, for instance, I said do discussion flashcards, which are visual flashcards. Uh, so, that would be good. They could learn a song that they can remember. So, you have, like, a song that they can learn. They could do a drawing. So, and also within the document, it shows everything that I'm talking about. Um... The song that I pick is like an ant song, like left, 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 right, left, and it's pretty cool. Uh, there's a good beat to go with it. Um, another thing is you can do like a coloring page with the flashcards. They color their own stuff, so they make their flat. They cut out their flashcards and then they can color them, and then they use them. Um, like you could put popsicle sticks on them and hold it up and you use that when you make a crosswalk inside the classroom for the students to practice. Um, and then once they have that down, like they know, okay, stop, green light, red light, like it is, you can walk, pedestrian safety. Uh, once they have that down, then practice outside on school grounds would be best. I would say find where there's a lifeguard where they could practice early or just send notes to the parent. Also, before doing this lesson, send um, letters to the parents in their backpack saying, we're learning this topic. Or if you have a, a classroom website or classroom um, app, you could tell the parents, look, this is what we're learning. Um, practice this at home with your students. Um, it's for their safety, of course, because everyone should know this and should learn about this. And once the lesson is entirely over, I came up with this idea of uh, parent night. Students should teach their parents how to cross a street during traffic. And then they graduate with a certificate. Um, the certificate part I didn't come up with, but the, the teaching their own parents how, like, how to cross the street so that they know that, okay, I retained this. Uh, but safety pedestrian certificate, um, it's pretty cool, so their name would be on there the day, and you would give it to them at parent night. And you know, it's like a small little reward ceremony. So that is what I did for my whole lesson. And of course, it would probably be like, it would probably take a week to do this. If you don't want to take a week, then it can be shorter. So like read maybe one out of, maybe one or two out of the three books. Um, like just, it's really not that much. Uh, certain, I'd say it t this will take maybe three days and it'll only take 10 minutes, not even. So it's a good lesson and I really like this idea and it keeps them interacted and they're able to like do something. I know many students with Down syndrome get irritated and fidgety and <clears throat> some lessons can be boring, but this one is very, uh, I love this lesson so much and I would also use this on my son. <laughs> so that is what I did. And like I said, everything is in the, uh, the document. It's all there and it's, it, I love it. So that's it. Have a good day.